Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, I'll discuss stress intensity plots and the Tresca failure criterion. The Tresca failure criterion is useful for a conservative estimate of your structure strength. The stress intensity plots are used for comparison against the material tensile strength. If the stress intensity exceeds the tensile yield strength, then failure of the material is assumed. In SOLIDWORKS simulation, you can plot the stress intensity as shown here. The stress intensity is actually twice the maximum shear stress at a point in the structure. As used with the Tresca failure criterion, it manifests itself as follows. If the stress intensity exceeds the tensile yield strength, then failure of the material is assumed. Here is some background. This 2D graph of principal stresses shows the von Mises failure criterion. Failure occurs when principal stresses reach or exceed the edge of the pink oval. For the Tresca criterion, failure occurs when the principal stresses reach or exceed the red colored edges which are inside the pink oval. This means the Tresca criterion is more conservative than the von Mises criterion. The Tresca failure criterion states that the shear strength of a ductile material is half the tensile strength. It turns out the principal shear stress at a point is related to the principal normal stresses at that point and can be evaluated as principal shear stress equals half the difference in principal normal stresses 1 and 3. We can set these two equations equal to one another or more simply the quantity P1 minus P3 is shown in SOLIDWORKS simulation as INT stress intensity P1 minus P3. Plot the stress intensity and you predict failure if the maximum stress intensity is at least equal to the tensile yield strength for the material. In this video, we've shown how to use stress intensity plots to evaluate structure strength with the Tresca failure criterion.